Yes, sir. DJ Focus, you tap back into the fix right here on Holy Culture Radio. Listen, I'm still chopping it up with my brothers, man, Mission and Brandon P. So let's yeah. talk about it, man. You two are uh, seasoned vets in CHH. So let's be very clear. Um, talk about, man, give y'all opinions right now on where you think the state of Christian hip hop is. <laughs> <laughs> Mission is I the more outspoken a- one than me. So I, that's, that's, <laughs> I'm going to let him start. <laughs> Come on, think, talk about it. Think, honestly, bro, I think it's in a good space. I'm not mad at the space. Like, I love like seeing the cats, you know, come up, Scooty Breeze, TZ, Miles. Like, it's fire. Like, I think it's dope. Caleb, um, all, I mean, everybody's like, in their own lanes, doing their own thing. I think it's dope. What I think is whack is how we try to, like, kind of do this one-size-fits-all, and it reminds me of when, like, it, it, so there was eras in, in Christian hip-hop. There was the era where you always had to be super theological. Mm-hmm. Then there was the era where everybody, oh, let's build and let's do all this. Um, and then, you know, there's another era, the download era, the, you know, the RPSMG when we did our thing. And um, now I feel like it's it's the TikTok era, and I feel like there it's like you, you there's one way to do it, and it's like it's not one way to do it. And just because like it's going back to the super churchy Christianese uh, sounding Christian hip hop, and if you're not doing it like that, like it's wrong. It's like nah, bro. Like it's not a right or wrong way to do it. I mean, there is a wrong wrong way. What I'm saying is just because like. Like, so I heard Cass saying, oh, I don't want to do, I want to do music with secular people or um, your music needs to sound like this or sound like that. And it's just like, yeah, that's cool if that's your conviction, but don't try to put that on everybody else or don't try to use your influence to make it like this, this is the way, you know what I'm saying? Because last year, Christian remixes was corny, you know what I'm saying? Now it's what everybody popping off. So, um, I think we just got to be careful and, you know, we try to put our convictions or we try to put our, you know, way of doing things on other people. And I think that part of Christian hip hop is what I don't like. And I don't like, you know, where it's going. But as far as, as, you know, saying CHH is dead, obviously it's not dead. That's just somebody in their feelings or saying like, you know, that, um, you know, it's whack or it's corny. Like you, you uninformed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I think we're in a good space because everybody can do it. Like, we doing us, they doing them, the TikTok era. We're a little older than that. We're trying to get on that way, but still trying to figure out how to, you know, navigate in this, you know, in this space, still be true to ourselves. I think uh, another way to put it is um, I heard somebody say this, and I can apply this to what Mission just said. Don't let your preferences be somebody else's pain. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Don't let mm. the preference of how you think. And that's what I went through. That was like, that hit me. You know what I'm saying? With the whole Andy situation. Like, I let his preference of how music or what he think music should be, like, ultimately hurt me. You know what I'm saying? And so um, I think now, like, it's out of good space. I think, um you know, the, the, the people that's out now, like, they see what has happened and they're just running with it. Um, and that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? What people don't also see is the stuff that we don't post or we Facts. don't talk about. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And just because we don't do the youth group shows no more don't mean that we not popping in other areas. Mm-hmm. You know, so, like, we talked to an artist uh, the other day and me and Mission was just like, yo, don't let the youth groups fool you. Just because you pop up and there's 2,000 people there, that don't mean that 2,000 people are your fans. Like, Facts. just because you say, oh, Abby, your Instagram at every show, don't mean those people are about to become fans. And I think, um, you know, uh, TikTok and the whole youth group thing, like, really gets people, you know, outside of what it actually is. No, that's funny you say that because um, I talk to a lot of artists. Too as well. quick. Yeah, I yeah. had to talk to a lot of artists too as well and remind them, um, you know, to put some respect on the DJ. <laughs> when, even when they send me music and everything, I say, yeah, you know, I, I, like you said, that's cool. You, absolutely. You go to those youth uh, programs and you got those, but 
please remember, I break records. <laughs> right. <laughs> Make sure you put some respect on my name because a lot of people, oh, I got all these Spotify streams. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Definitely do your Spotify thing. But remember, the DJ still is the one who can get in in front of 500 DJs and get that thing spinning and get you on billboard charts and, and met, you know, the, the data uh, raising mm -hmm. every which way. So I say, don't, don't downplay the DJ just because you got the streaming services now. I know that's the, the new thing over the last and decade, that, but. <laughs> and that serious XM check is different. I know that's a whole nother, <laughs> Listen, a whole nother, I, I remind a whole them all, nother, I remind them all the time. Situation I just learned about. Yeah, I, I remind them all the time. I say, don't don't get it, don't get it twisted. If I spin you, baby, you, you, yeah, you bless. Please believe you bless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put look, put a little respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? I might hundred <laughs> percent. I'm yeah, you bless. Yeah. Especially if I spin you ten times in a month. Stop it. That, that, that's a different, <laughs> that's a different check. But 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 take my little ten times compared it's to your check. ten thousand streams you got to do on Spotify. We we ain't gonna you know you got to do. 10,000 over there. Don't worry. It's not even close. <laughs> it's not. But I, but well, blessings on their life. I have to educate them all the time. I appreciate y'all. Listen, um, it's it, I'm glad y'all brought up the CHH ain't dead situation. We we know we already know um, you know, it's been a debate the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we know who said, you know, CHH is dead and everything going on with that. Uh, what was y'all first thoughts when y'all heard it though? Cuz I feel like um, he was speaking from a hurt place in CHH, but that was just me thinking that way. I want to hear what y'all response was when y'all first heard um, my brother, um, Christian Gray. I know Christian Gray said some and a, a few other people, but well, you know, what, what was y'all response? I think, I think I it was. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say, I'm alive. And he's, hey, and this work I'm over alive. here, ain't, it ain't for free either. This work is real. <laughs> At all. There it is. Conversation <laughs> closed, I guess. I ain't dead. <laughs> I ain't dead. 